It's time to look at this week's top indie comic book reads for April 13th New Comic Book Day. Alright, welcome back. Before we get into this, if you're new to the channel, please go down and hit that subscribe button and join in as we're talking about indie comics every week um, and talking about everything that I pick up. And uh, Caroline and I do an interviews um, when she's able to join and really um, having a fun time talking comics. So join in on that and let me know down below, everyone, what you're looking forward to picking up this week for New Comic Book Day and drop a like on this video. All of that really helps the engagement on the video, which gets the video out to more people and uh, a new audience. So let's hop into this with my 10th pick for the upcoming Indie Comics for New Comic Book Day, and that is Rush, The Rush, number five, from C. Spurrier and Nathan Gooden from Vault Comics. We're on to Chapter 5, The Thaw, 1899, The Beast is Dead, An Outlaw Swings in Hemp, and The Thaw has come at last. And yet, Nettie Bridger feels as if she has sinned against nature itself, fearing some twisted taboo waiting in the cold earth to shatter every certainty and swallow her in darkness. I've been really enjoying the creepy creatures that they got in this story. Um, C. Spurrier has been writing such a intriguing story here with uh, Nathan Gooden just doing such a good job depicting how creepy these these monsters look. So it's my number 10th pick. Sticking with Vault for uh, another two picks here and we've got for number 9, the last book you'll ever read, issue number 7 from Colin Bunn and Layla Lays. Olivia, Connor, and Willow finally find sanctuary in a small town that's been given over to the wilding, weeds crack the asphalt, animals roam the streets, humanity is all but forgotten. This has just been getting more and more wild with each issue. Um, I don't know how many issues it's planned for. Maybe it's eight, but I just, I love the direction that the story has been going and that not just the, um, you know, there's the, there's the people that vehemently hate the book she she wrote um and then there's those that uh really support it and both sides are just crazy and doing some really insane things and really showing what the book says you know the the humanity goes to its base instincts and you know the revelation last issue i don't really want to talk about that too much right now but that revelation of Maybe the true authorship uh, is really something and a nice little twist that Colin Bunn threw in there. So my number nine pick this week for the indie comics is last book you'll ever read, number seven from Vault Comics. And like I said, another Vault book this week, also a number seven is Human Remains issue number seven from Peter Milligan and Sally Cantorino. Anjali returns with the strange psychedelic fungus, which might be a potential savior or dangerous poison. Meanwhile, the Reverend Hayes faces his darkest hour, and Jessica's fight from her brutal husband comes to a chilling and unexpected conclusion. I've really enjoyed the intermingling of stories that we've had, all of these different characters within this world of the, these strange creatures that appear out of nowhere. Uh, when someone expresses emotion and so a different type of horror story that we're being told here by Peter and Sally and so I've absolutely been enjoying everything that this story has has brought so far um, and issue number seven looks like it's shaping up to be another great issue uh, can't wait to read it this week and see I think this one again I'm not sure when it ends but it might have been might also be an eight issue story here, but I hope both of these stories continue on longer because uh, I'm really enjoying the worlds that are being built here. So that is my number eight pick this week. Number seven is one from Image Comics, one that you guys know I am an absolute fan of, you know, getting a statue commissioned for it. And that is Noctera, 
issue number nine coming out this week from Scott Snyder, Tony S. Daniel, and uh, we're on part three of Pedal to the Metal. The fresh member on their roster, Team Sundog, must transverse the uncharted waters with one question all in their minds. Who, or rather, what, is Eos? Getting more and more into the mystery of what is happening with this world, and um, each issue, I feel like, just gets better and better. So that's my number seven pick. Number six this week, also Image Comics. That is Joe Hill's Reign, number four of five from... Uh, adapted from Joe Hill's novella, Rain, into comic form by David M. Boer, with art by Zoe Thorogood. Angry clouds hang over the Rocky Mountains as Honeysuckle approaches Denver. The devastation from the Reign of Nails extends far beyond anything Honeysuckle could have imagined. After a confrontation with a homophobic neighbor, Honeysuckle arrives at Yolanda's home in search of Yolanda's father. What she finds is far more horrifying than the looming storm clouds. She's been on this trek since the beginning. The threat of the needles falling from the sky is just, you know, this hang, this threat hanging over her throughout this journey. Um, and I've really been enjoyed, straight from issue number one, how emotional this story is and the that element of the horror from the crazy rainstorms right that we've got going on so i absolutely highly recommend if you haven't checked out rain to go and do so david boer's writing is awesome his adaptation of the story has been fantastic and i love zoe thurgood's artwork in this so it's my number six pick this week issue four of five of joe hill's rain from image comics Number five this week is the Image 30th Anniversary Anthology issue number one of 12. We have so many different creators in this. We have Jeff Johns, Declan Shalvey, Wyatt Kennedy, Scotty Young, Mirka Andolfo, Brendan Fletcher, Kyle Higgins, Andrea Moody, Declan Shalvey, Luana Vecchio, Mirka Andolfo, Erica Henderson, Danielle De Nucuello, and uh, cover... A here by Marcelo Costa and Igor Monti, celebrating the 30th anniversary of the first Image comic with a year-long parade of all new stories from that creative team and so many more. This uh, first story is going to have some of uh, some 12-part stories, so there's two of those, and that is The Blizzard by Jeff Johns and Andrea Moody. And Red Stitches by Brennan Fletcher and Erica Henderson. So those are going to be in every one of the issues of this anthology series. Uh, plus we have some opening installments of a trio of three-parters. Gospel for a New Century by Wyatt Kennedy and Luana Vecchio. Loop slash Hopeless by Mirka Andolfo. And Shift by Kyle Higgins and Danielle De Nucuello. Uh, plus, first look at Declan Chalvey's upcoming Old Dog series. And an original ongoing comic strip by Con Scotty Young. So lots to look forward to in this. Uh, all that jam-packed into a, a $5.99 issue. Fantastic. Uh, really looking forward to seeing some of these stories. Shift, we just got introduced to in um, Radiant Red. So uh, maybe a Shift origin story coming here um, in this issue. I'm looking forward to, to seeing what happens there uh, as part of the Radiant Black universe. So that's my number five pick from Image Comics. Number four this week is... Boom Studios, Seven Secrets, number 16. We are coming ever closer to the end of Seven Secrets. Uh, issue 18, I believe, is the final issue planned from Tom Taylor and Danielle De Nicuello. And this has just been an emotional ride from start to finish. And the artwork in this is incredible. If you have not read Seven Secrets, you really need to go and check it out. Um, in the wake of an unthinkable tragedy, the Seekers find themselves capturing more and more cases. But with Ava struggling to cope with the loss of a trusted ally, will the Order be able to stop the inevitable in time? And we had such a really interesting reveal last issue with, um, I guess, the nature of who Casper is. Um, did not see that coming at all, and... I'm ready to see what implications that has for the rest of of the world, the rest of the Order, the Seekers, and everybody involved in the story. So 
issue 16 this week. It's always one of those that I'm looking forward to each time it comes out. Um, and I'm not ready for it to end with issue 18, but I think uh, Tom Taylor is going to do a great job wrapping things up. We do seem to be headed towards that uh, climactic moment where things are then going to be just kind of in that wrap-up phase of, of what could happen at the story. So issue 16 is my number four pick this week. Coming in at number three, We Ride Titans number three from Vault Comics, from Trading and Sebastian Perez. As I said before, I love Sebastian's artwork, and I'm really enjoying this family drama slash kaiju beat em up comic. Kit's tenure as a Titan writer gets off to a bad start as mysterious mech attacks new Hyperion. Plus, waffles. Waffles, you know, we got waffles on the uh, cover here. Very excited that this uh, issue three is coming out this week because I've been really enjoying this story from this creative team and Vault's putting out quality books every week. This is the fourth Vault book on the list, so um, I am very excited uh, for all of that coming this week. So issue three, We Ride Titans by Trey Dean, Sebastian Perez from Vault Comics is my number three pick. And just to keep the final three going, we got three, two, one, issue two of Hit Me from AWA Upshot from Krista Faust, Priscilla Petrades, Marco Lesko, and Jeff DeCall doing an awesome cover A here. Uh, high octane, a high octane crime thriller from Krista Faust, Priscilla Petrades. Lulu has a very unique profession. She gets paid by the bruise. When she's witness to the execution of one of her regular clients, she escapes into the night with a briefcase filled with diamonds and a pack of killers on her trail. Navigating the dark underbelly of decaying early 90s Atlantic City, one step ahead of her pursuers, Lulu must call upon every one of her street-born instincts and underworld connections in what will be the longest and possibly last night of her life. Super great first issue for this story. And, um, you know, the crime side of this is really ramping up towards the end of that and so we're headed into more of that but uh i, I liked the uh discussion and inclusion of of the you know this i guess type of sex work that she was doing uh different kind of thing with the um beat em up style but the you know bringing that into the discussion is important um and so this book i think is an important story to be told uh, so coming in for number two, hit me number two from AWA Upshot. Number one this week is from Aftershock Comics and is Kaiju Score Steal from the Gods from James Patrick and Rem Brew. First round of Kaiju Score was absolutely phenomenal. Really loved it. It's optioned by Sony Pictures. And now we're back. Michelle is back and she has her own crew. She's making her own rules. Unfortunately, her tendency for getting into hot water still remains, and her involvement in that now infamous job in Florida, known as the Kaiju Score, is haunting her in many different ways. It's about to put her on a collision course with a new job, new characters, and of course, new monsters. The second volume of the critically acclaimed best-selling Kaiju Score is here, just like last time, not everyone will get out alive. So I, I liked James Patrick's writing in the first volume. I liked his writing in Campisi, The Dragon Incident. So I'm ready to see what happens in this new volume, this new installment. Uh, it takes the crazy of the first volume to new heights of WTF. And uh, if you're curious as to some of the artwork, you can check it out on the previews website. There's some uh, previews pages of what we might be getting in this installment. So. That is my top pick. Uh, there was one book that I've heard was supposed to come out this coming week, but I don't think it is based on previews website is showing it's not on new releases, and that's Dark Beach from Behemoth Comics. But if it does come out, I do want to mention that one as well because I am very excited for that one and uh, even have a, a patch from the creator as well as a pin somewhere over here. There it is. Um, and so I'm really looking forward to that one, but I think that one's going to be pushed to 420. So may have to wait one more week for that, uh, maybe two, depending on Diamond's uh, release schedule there. But that's it. Thank you guys for watching. If you made it here and aren't subscribed, go ahead and hit that button down below. And as always, 
collect what you love. See you next time.